and they are up against one of the stiffest competitions on the series this year. Argentina hunting the All Black Sevens. Marcos Moneta always hunting more tries. And Argentina looking to maybe win their first ever France Sevens. But this is a side that has no respect for the history books. They'll go after it. And so will this German side who believe that they should be a core nation. Greg O'Shea, you were in Germany's shoes once, so desperate with Ireland to get on this series. It's such a tough place to be, but so excited to be at the big dance when you yes, are an invitational nation. Of course, it's such a slog trying to get on the World Series. We managed it as an, as an Irish team. Germany, unfortunately, have always been the bridesmaid, never the bride, have never got there. But they're a good team, and they're going to give Argentina a good crack here, even though they're invitational. So let's see how it goes. Well, a short kickoff for Argentina, and you <laughs> can bet your bottom dollar that they will come away with it. These guys are the kickoff kings. Their ability to retain possession with the likes of Istro, Alvarez, all climbing high. Although that looked like a bit of a clumsy collision in the skies. It did. It looked like a bit of a collision there. And uh, lucky to get away with that. Knock on by Germany to start off the game. But Argentina, a bit of fortune there. Crunch. Fine. Set. Hold, hold. The Gaston Reval sat on 981 points. Will he reach the 1,000 before his days are done? This man, Moneta, is surely destined for a millennia of points. Money Marcos on the ball, out to Gonzalez. Couple of bounces and a skip. And here comes the power. Here comes the utter determination. But here comes an uncharacteristic knock-on. It's very unlike Gonzalez to drop that ball. He is a man monster. He's a very difficult person to bring down. They managed to catch him there and he knocked it on, but early days for Argentina. Let's see how they move on from this. Have you known a man to be so fearless and back himself so greatly when traveling into contact? He doesn't fear anyone, does he? But you know what it is about Gonzalez? He can run over you or he can run around you or he can pass it offload and he has it all. Incredible player on the series. Set. Oh. Well, Germany pegged back on the series for the first time since Seville. I tell you what, they put in a good show. They took down a core nation. And some of these boys have scored a lot of points in their brief forays up to the highest heights. And a knock on, and then a bit of indiscipline is going to march them back 10 and march them down to six players that is not what you need as an invitational team going up against the second best team in the series argentina are probably going to put the pressure on now pale blue and white jerseys queuing up and into the hands of gonzalez try number 112 for the man who is becoming imperious on this seven series as I was saying, Burnsy, this man can do it all. Run through you, run over you. He's an incredible player, and he made up for his little knock-on there a while ago. Argentina capitalised straight away on that yellow card by Germany. Not ideal start for the Germans. Well, there he is. Still over a minute left of the sin bin for Klevinghaus. And already seven points conceded. Gaston Reval on his 97th World Series tournament sends it high in to the Toulouse skies. And off goes Augustine Fraga. Fraga gets hit hard. Iskro, Iskro, backing himself. Iskro! <laughs> Great work by Iskro. Found a hole in the middle of the pitch there. The ball in one hand. You see the Fijians doing that. The Argies are doing it now as well. Just a massive paw. Easy through the middle of the pitch there. Touchdown, five pointer. Oops. 
But an uncharacteristic miss. And that is not going to stop the brass band going into full swing. One of the great characteristics of this Toulouse Sevens. Yes, for sure. Walking in this morning, that brass band were flying high, bringing the energy. And there's loads of school kids around here as well. It's a brilliant atmosphere here. It is fabulous. They, the brass band, it marauds around the stadium. You never know where they're going to pop up. Really know that you're in the south of France, in rugby heartland. That one side that are playing rugby with all their heart, chasing this All Black Sevens is Argentina. Gonzalez fell to bias Wade. Gaston Raval, little wraparound play. Moneta skipping and looking for Rodrigo Iscro, who bags himself a first half brace. Efficient work by the Argentinians there. Iscro, two tries within the first half. Just beautiful movement in the middle of the pitch. Moneta running around for fun. In and out, pop it to the big man. Easy as that. Well, Mineta doing the assisting work. Rodrigo Iscro, so often the man working so hard to create the opportunities for those around him. But on this occasion, in the tries and at the double, but no conversion to add. Well, debut at Hamilton, and he's knocking on 50 tries door. What an achievement. That would be 24 years old. That's one thing to note. Just the age profile of this young Argentinian side. Seasoned campaigners like Iscro. This man is the most seasoned though. Reval feeding the speed out on the left flank. But once again, it looks like Gonzalez involved in a knock-on incident. Win. Yeah, Gonzalez, a bit of a slippery hand today. But how good is Raval in the centre of the pitch there? 36 years old. I retired at 26, Ponzi. He is showing me up. Incredible stuff. Yeah, they have a nice few young fellas later throughout the team, the Argentinians. Moneta is obviously the star of that team, but people like Iscro, Fraga, Alvarez, they're an incredible team. And Raval is kind of the centrepiece of that, I feel. Well, Raval, who made his debut in London in 2011 even he's not old enough to know or to have been involved in Argentina's best ever finish in France back in 2000 they finished joint third but back in the days when you could finish joint third, joint that's, third. that's how long it's been since Argentina have made a mark at the France sevens but you would think the kind of form they've been in all season yeah. This could this could be a year for them. The Argies are chasing Five. that um, Olympic qualification as well. I think Six. they need to get to the semis, so they'll be wanting to put the best foot forward for their first game. Bastian van der Bosch fishes the ball out and then receives it on an inside pass. Gets gobbled up by Iskro. And then Eneke feeds out to first receiver. Germany working hard, Anton Gleitzer. And they just can't find a way out of their 22 as Thomas Elizalde comes in with a hit. It's nice offloading play. Van der Bosch. Good option with no sweeper in for Argentina. Great option when he got that much pace in the ranks, a hit that needed to come in. Ben Element, the man charging onto it, but they lose possession at the contact zone. Well, it's not the fastest finish you'll ever see, but German Schultz has done that many, many times on his World Series career. He knows where the line is, and he bags another for Los Puma Sevens. Great chase back by Argentina there. Germans could not get out of their 22. They went to the boot. Ellerman got to the ball first, but couldn't capitalize on it. And the RGs punished them. A lick of paint, but no conversion to add. Half time here. Argentina 22, Germany nil.
Cup gold in this year's series. Can they get it done here, which was the last time they won a series event 12 months ago? The Germans have never actually beaten Argentina, and the last two occasions, I think they were held scoreless. It's still scoreless now. Let's see, can they get a try or a point in the second half? Iskro taking a starring role thus far in this game. Two tries, but Agustin Fraga also. Here come Argentina surging down the right flank, but they can't get the pass away. Well, as Argentina look to explore that same flank, they sit a German player down, look to get the offload away, but knocked on by Thomas Elizalde. And a great opportunity for us to speak to Germany coach Antonio Aguia. Antonio, what a tough prospect it is for your German boys with seven debutants to be here, but I can see from the smiles on yours and their face. Being on the series means everything to you guys. Yeah, well, we just dropped, or we, we failed to get back in a couple of weeks ago, so the opportunity to be here, it's fantastic for us. And the message is exactly that, just have fun and enjoy the occasion. But beyond the series, there's also the European qualifiers, and I imagine that you're looking to pose some problems for some of the favourites in inverted commas who are looking to get to the Olympics as well. Yeah, our main goal now, yeah, is the Olympics, so... Uh, this this is a way to do it and we need this experience at this level and uh, of course we have GB and Spain in our pool that we're gonna face later on the season so it's perfect for us to to set the standard well Antonio we're loving having you we're loving having Germany with us this weekend we look forward to catching up with you later yeah, thanks a lot mate well you hear that the ambitions that lie for Germany mirror very many of the same here on the series, Olympic qualification, Argentina. Well, they're going to be there automatically by virtue of their current standing in the series. But of course, there's the likes of Samoa, the likes of South Africa, looking to work their way into those golden ticket places. It's a tough route, the route Germany are taking to get into the Olympics. We did it um, coming through the Reftisage. We didn't even get through the European tournament, which Germany will be eyeing. So this is incredible experience for them to get. They're, you can see them bringing on, on and off subs here. Everyone's getting a few minutes against one of the best teams in the world. Well, one of the men he's getting to minute 71, Chris Ume. He scored in every World Series event he's played in but one. So there is some quality in this German side, but at the moment, they're chasing a few Argentinian shadows, but Gaston Rival stretches the expectations of Elizalde's fingertips. Just that fingernail too much. Off we go. Germany looking to inject some tempo. Oh, injecting some lovely tempo, but stop star. He leaves him for dead. He's got 50, 40. 22, the start, Ernest Wallon will roar for a try from the Wolfpack. Germany on the board against Los Pumas. Yes, nice one from Anton Gleitzer. Went the distance there. He nearly got clawed down. Paw in the face and just pinned the ears back and went the whole way. Beautiful try. Well done. Anton Gleitzer with a memory to take back to Germany on World Series debut for Germany. Did plenty of work to do there as well. Good stuff, Germany. Practice the kicking. There's three minutes and 50 seconds left. There's a bit of time. Who knows, Bernsey? Have we written them off too soon? I don't know, there's plenty of time left. Well, that try is going to breathe life into the German ambitions. Fabian Heimpel gets us underway. And Germany chasing hard, but Argentina so difficult to dispossess in the skies from the kickoff. Revol with the fast hands to Gonzalez. 
Oh, Gonzalez, so powerful, so slippery, so determined. Try number two for the Argentinian great. Luciano Gonzalez, what a player. He is so difficult to take down one-on-one. -on -one. You nearly have to put two on him to get him down. Incredible stuff out of him. Has the pace, has the power. Efficient work by Argentina. The conversion is good. Gonzalez has a brace and he just begins to continue to catapult his way up those all-time try scorers. Look at the names that he's keeping company with. Wow, Gomez, Gora, Sabato. And Gonzalez is only 26 years old. Loads of years left in him. Well, he seems to truly be coming into his prime. But that kickoff, although won by Argentina, a rare error from Gaston Revolt. Puts his hand up to acknowledge it. You never see him drop a ball like that. He'll be frustrated. There's been a few knock-ons actually in this game, Bernsey, by the Argentinian guys. Maybe they're a bit nervous. They've a lot riding on this series trying to get yeah. into um, the Olympic qualification. So, Crouch! But of the all-time tournament ranking, he's up there with the very Set. best. But Germany, they've got one try, they want another, and they carve out some room on that side with Lichtenberg into the 22. Chris Ume chips it on. One more out to the flank. Zani Dembele. Zani Dembele, two big men going at each other, and Dembele swats aside Gonzalez. Are oh, Germany going to finish with a flourish? Big hits coming in, dispossessed. And Argentina. Will they punish from range? Shoulders lining up. Huge commitment. Right into the final 60 seconds. Great effort late into the game by Germany here. Dembele down the wing. Unfortunate not to capitalize on that. But I'm loving the effort, loving the enthusiasm from Germany. They're not going to give up even with a few seconds left in this game. Well, Germany aren't going to win this. But Zani Dembele is definitely going to be saying in a few years, do you remember that time I got the best of Luciano Gonzalez? Yes, sir. That one will be in his highlight reel for sure. I can see the chapter in the autobiography already. <laughs> Clip that quick. We're only able to have a laugh at Gonzalez's expense because he's done it to so many others. Well, inaccuracies creeping in to Argentina's game and Revolt, half out of frustration, half out of knowing that the game's done, boots the ball out and wraps up a 29-7 victory over the Invitational Nation Germany. Well, these Argentinians have been an absolute delight on the series. Winners in Hamilton, winners in Vancouver, 10 of which are here in Toulouse. And they're hunting a maiden gold at the France Sevens this weekend. So Great Britain getting a big result against Spain. Argentina off to a flyer. Paul B set up nicely.